just about anybody I speak to these days, whether it's a client, a friend, a neighbor, will tell me something to the effect of, boy, do I feel stressed out. And I have to admit that sometimes the challenges I face on a daily basis will make me feel tense and wish I could crawl into a hole and hide. Stress can make any of us feel irritable and short-tempered, and if not addressed, can lead to a long-term health problems. So we're all looking for ways to deal with our stress. But too many of us take what we believe to be the easy way out by masking our stress with alcohol or drugs. That, of course, can lead to a whole set of other issues that in the long run often make things worse and don't really address the root problem behind the stress. The solution is to find healthy ways to relax. I find that meditation works for me. I've had too many people tell me that they just can't get into it. So are there other ways to relax without harmful side effects? We're going to find out now with relaxation expert Craig Goldberg. Craig is the co-founder of In Harmony, a leading business in the health and wellness space. He's also the inventor of an innovative technique that has helped thousands of people overcome stress and achieve a deeper sense of inner calmness. Welcome to the Dream Power Experience, Craig. Thank you so much for having me here, Debbie. Oh, it is my pleasure. Well, Craig, why is it so hard for people to relax? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I do know. We're going to talk about it. All right. So I, know, I hit you with the easy questions first, right? <laughs> uh, first of all, I'm like practically tearing up on that introduction. That was beautiful and amazing and awesome. And uh, I'm so grateful to be here to be able to share this message because, you know, just like we were talking before we clicked record, I started this business and I got involved in this because I needed answers for me, not for anybody else. For my wife, for my daughter, for my family, and for the people around me. And in doing the research, I found that there are easier ways to relax by having these experiences, which I'm going to share, and, and these techniques. I found that inner calmness and that blissful state of relaxation that we all seek so much. And I wanted to share it. I got a pretty big mouth. I like to talk about what's working for me in the hopes that it will work for somebody else and that I can cue you into an awareness and hopefully that uh, will allow you to take action. And hopefully that action will have tremendous impact on the overall day to day. Uh, the short answer is we have co-created a society together, you and me, you're welcome and thank you, along with everybody that's listening of busyness, of on the go and frankly, of, of an endless list of to-dos that never gets done. Uh, it doesn't matter, uh, really. I, I often think back to the days of, of yesteryear with my wife. I've been with her for 15 years. And we often look at each other like, do you remember when we didn't have anything to do? Do you remember when like we would go to the bar on Thursday afternoon? and like just have a few drinks and that would be our evening and we weren't blowing anything off and we weren't right as you get older i just turned 44 responsibilities creep in and needs creep in i own my own business that's there's what most people don't see is the accounting the finance the governance the the registrations the sales tax we need to do in every state the insert list of things to do there and then i've got a home life I have a honeydew list that um, I keep checking things off and more things keep appearing. I'm not exactly sure. They are in my wife's handwriting, but uh, that list just keeps going. You fix one thing and something else breaks. I know it's funny how that happens. <laughs> it's Right. So look, my cars, I, I had my truck in the shop and then I literally dropped the, I picked the truck up by dropping off my Jeep. And then by the time I had to pick up the Jeep, the truck had to go back in. Look, it, life just happens and it's endless. And that's when everything's going well and I'm on it and I'm just taking care of the things that I need to take care of. Then you throw in a wrench like construction along my route or a loved one that's having issues that has me stop everything so that I can tend to that. Or, or something happens with me physically or emotionally or mentally where I can't handle what I need to handle, right? And that's obviously where we come in. So we have co-created this beautiful society and culture where we actually wear busyness as a badge of honor. 
hey debbie how you doing oh, i'm busy <laughs> i'm just busy just you know right so and and you kind of go yeah okay that's cool you know and what we're all thinking when somebody says that to us is like i wish they knew what busy really was right like at least that's what i'm thinking when somebody tells me they're busy i'm like i wish you could see my nine inboxes that i can't get caught up on and my telegram and whatsapp and text messages and right like there's everywhere i look there's something to do and every and and this and i feel like i'm not alone right and everybody that i talk to as i travel and speak feels the same way as do i'm sure many of the listeners and what i have discovered is that we do need to find ways to truly relax and unfortunately when we sit down in front of youtube or cable or television or news worse right even worse uh, we think we're relaxing and and we're not unfortunately um, we think we are giving our nervous system an opportunity to drift into a parasympathetic nervous system response and we're not right parasympathetic cool calm and collected sympathetic stressed and anxious um, i was talking to my mother-in-law bless her beautiful heart she's been dealing with high blood pressure um, we sat down to talk now she's turkish there's a lot happening in turkish politics as we record this she's been heavily involved in it um, she's been heavily involved in campaigning and and talking, you know, to friends and family to get out to vote and that whole thing. They had to drive to L.A. from Vegas to vote. Very stressful times. She literally watches the news cycle all day long. My daughter goes to her house three days a week. She actually said, your daughter, I can't have I can't have Harmony over on Monday. I have to watch the news all day. She knows that I don't like it when Harmony is exposed to the news all day. Right. And I have to watch the news all day. And that next day when I went to drop her off her blood pressure was spiking and and she was having some issues. I said, mom, you were watching the news all day yesterday, right? She said, yeah. I said, what you don't realize is that the sounds and the frequencies that are included in that program, including the inflections in their voice, the hooks, the cliffhangers, um, is all designed to stimulate your nervous system. Not the mental part of your brain, but the nervous system. And and she said, well, I'm not going to watch news anymore. And I said, that's great. That's that's awesome. I'm super proud of you. And, and that's wonderful. She goes, but I do like my programs. I'm going to watch Survivor. She watches Turkish Survivor. Okay. And I said, mom, do you realize that even Survivor is designed to stimulate your nervous system? And she said, no, why? I'm laughing the whole time. And I said, the suspense that they create, which you are heavily engaged in, is designed to stimulate your nervous system. The commercial breaks, the cliffhangers, the way that it's edited, the sounds and the frequencies, even on Survivor, are designed to stimulate your nervous system. So when we think we're sitting down to relax, which, which is why I love the words you used in your opening, to truly find relaxation. Um, unfortunately, what we're doing in order to do that is not getting us to where we want it to get. And we think it is. And we think we, we're doing ourselves a service by spending and investing time doing that. And unfortunately, it's wreaking havoc on our nervous system. And it's unconscious. We, we're not aware of it. And doing this day after day, week after week, year after year, is actually opening up the possibility for disease. And instead, harnessing, I would say, our body's inability to take care of itself, to maintain itself, to keep itself healthy, which the body is beautifully designed to do when given the opportunity to do it. And I hope we can dive deeper into a little bit more of what that's all about. Well, we can, but first I, I wanna get into a little bit about your story because I know when you first realized, oh, I have to do something about my own stress, like many people who said, oh, I've heard of meditation, let, let, let me meditate, but your first efforts weren't that successful. So what happened? No, and I'm even getting teared up. Like I got a lot of emotions that are brewing on your questions in this conversation right now, Debbie. It's it's really powerful. All right, so no, I'm not making you stressful. No, not at all. <laughs> I'm excited, actually, and um, the emotions that are coming up are gratitude and appreciation because this is the core of where I think a lot of folks have challenges. Six and a half years ago, I started a company called Holistic Health Science along with my business partner, Dominic. In 2020, we changed the name to In Harmony Interactive. So we've been doing this for six and a half years. Seven years ago, if you said, Craig, you really look stressed out and you need to relax, uh, have you heard of meditation? I would have said yes. And you would have said, great, 10 to 20 minutes a day. Uh, it's going to change your life. And I would have laughed at you okay, I'll go try that. And I would sit down in the corner and I would close my eyes and I would try and clear my head and, and wasn't happening, just was not happening. And I was getting frustrated. The muse came out, 
right? The headset that tracks the EEG, the four points on your forehead, and you pair it with headphones. And and when you reach that meditative state in alpha, really a theta brainwave state, you hear birds chirping. And as you drift out of that alpha and theta target brainwave state, you start to hear thunder. The worst tool for me on the planet because the birds are chirping and I'm stoked and I'm proud of myself and I'm engaged. And then all of a sudden the thunder starts creeping in and I start thinking, no thunder, no, 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 turn the thunder up. Forget about it, right? Downward spiral and it's out. And it's not any different when I don't have the biometrics to tell me how I'm feeling and, and what I'm doing because I know I'm, I'm, I'm not getting to that relaxation point of allowing those thoughts to flow through my head and, and get there. And as an A-type go-getter, performance, you know, somebody who's focused on, on optimal human performance and getting after it, it was really frustrating for me, like really, really frustrating for me. So I needed to find something else. And uh, about 12 years ago, my wife got sick. Nobody could tell us what was really wrong with her. Um, in the end, it wound up being gluten. We cut gluten out of her diet and my diet hundred percent. She got better. I got worse. And this led to this deep dive in really understanding the human body, how we operate, got into diet, nutrition, chemical exposure, detoxification pathways, understanding the blood and, and really these three main environments, what we put in our mouth, what we put on our skin and what we allow to be kept in the air around us. And my wife deep and I, we deep dove into really what is another thing that's totally different conversation that's really affecting Americans today is our exposure to toxic chemicals. And any one of those chemicals, not a big deal. But when you put all the different chemicals that we're associated with from the stuff that's in the paint, from the you know, exhaust of the cars, from the foods that we're eating and all of these different things, and you've got some toxic levels that the body has difficulty keeping up with. So we got rid of perfume and cologne, deodorant, shifted to a plant-based diet, all organic, local. We knew where all our food came from. Uh, we shifted to uh, essential oils and we started traveling, teaching about essential oils. And I'm going to these yoga retreats and conferences and trade shows, and I would gravitate towards the sound therapists. I would gravitate towards the sound baths and these incredible, beautiful instruments that would play these sounds and frequencies. And I didn't know what it was about it, but I would check into my hotel. And if there was a, a sound bath, I would run to it. It was the first thing I did when I got there. And it would just cleanse, clean, clarify. And I felt amazing afterwards, it set the stage for a great drop in and I could shed the world around me. And it just felt fantastic. Being an audiophile, I wanted to feel this at home. And I wanted to feel it whenever I wanted to feel it. And I didn't want to have to play a bowl or a gong or a didgeridoo or, or something to experience that. So I took my stereo system, I surrounded myself with it starfished out in the middle of my living room. And I started to crank this recording of a gong, this gong CD that I had. And I, I was using the wrong technology. I was using speaker technology. I needed to be using what's called a tactile transducer, which actually is what's embedded in our technology. So fast forward a few months, I link up with my now business partner, Dominic, and he, I get on and I have my first sound lounge experience. And I am blown away because Dominic has created what I always wanted to create, which was... Uh, a sound therapy experience on tap that I could push play on a device, lay on a piece of furniture and feel the same frequencies and vibrations that I felt when I was laying in front of the gong, the didgeridoo, the, the bells, the chimes and, and that sort of thing. Dive a little deeper into what the sound lounge is. And it, yeah. it's sort of my understanding, it melds the sound vibrations with vibrations. And is there any meditation involved with that at all? Absolutely. So this is really how the whole story starts to unfold for me. So I'm laying on this sound lounge, having this sound lounge experience this six and a half years ago in, in my, my now business partner, Dominic's office. And, and I just knew that I had the same sensations that I did when I was laying in front of these acoustic instruments at these sound baths. And, and I didn't, we didn't know what was actually happening in the body. We, we had a general idea. We were talking and working with a chiropractor at the time and and we had a we had an idea of what it did to the nervous system, but there wasn't a there was a, there's still a ton of science that goes back about forty years called vibroacoustic therapy or VAT VAT, and that body of research was coined originally that term was originally coined by a gentleman by the name of Olaf Skill in uh, the late 1970s, and there's a rather large body of research on specific frequencies and how they impact our physiology, our neurology, our anatomy, and we we start at the time digging into the science and research, and I am enamored 
with what I'm finding. And it does indeed shift your body and take and turn on the chemical cascades associated with the parasympathetic nervous system response, associated with calm and relaxed. And at the time, we were, I was working with a chiropractor and he was super technical. And, and the name of our company was Holistic Health Science, which was rather clinical in my opinion. And we were really serving that market. And as we started to build on the sound lounge and eventually came out with the InHarmony practitioner and then eventually the InHarmony meditation cushion, we started to really understand the impact that we were having on the human experience, not just the nervous system, not just sending messages to every muscle in the body, telling them to relax, not just increasing lymphatic drainage and activating the detox pathways, not just having a positive impact on circulation and blood flow and obviously oxygenation, right? So we were doing all these amazing things from a medicinal and therapeutic standpoint. And at some point in 2020, it occurred to me that this is really all about relaxation. And, and the perception of this is about a relaxed mind, body, and spirit. And then we started to look into EEG, echoencephalograph. We started to see what impact sound and vibration was having on the brain. And we started to realize that we're dropping into a meditative state. And we're getting there quickly and we're staying there. So when we came out with our meditation cushion and that footprint, which is very similar to our sound lounge, it's a cushion that you sit on, which has a, an amplifier and, and tactile transducers and speakers built in. And, and we created a record label to create specific music that drives the technology to what we do. And before we knew it, we were helping people to reach that meditative state, whether you're laying down on a sound lounge, which is ergonomically designed, dual density foam, super comfortable, or you're sitting on our meditation cushion. The perception from the conscious mind is that you are reaching deep levels of relaxation. What's actually happening in the brain through all these biometrics that we we're able to test is that we're taking you into a meditative state. We're teaching your brain how to move in and out of different brainwave states, beta being eyes open, alpha just below that, theta below that, delta below that, gamma above beta. And we are literally taking people that have never meditated before. And within four or five minutes, we're getting them to the point, the same exact place that a monk sitting on a mountainside for 20 plus years strives to achieve. And this is backed by science and research. I've seen it with my own eyes. Absolutely remarkable what we're able to do. So now all of a sudden, we, we come out with this meditation cushion. We start sharing it on social media. We did an Indiegogo campaign. We did a big raise. Um, it, was, it was absolutely phenomenal. Now we find ourselves serving two main markets with our meditation cushion. Those, those like me that have a really hard time reaching that meditative state that can't turn off the mind so that they can allow thoughts to flow through to turn off that to-do list that we talked about. Um, and, and we actually teach them how to do that. And we do it in, in an 11 minute session. It's not very difficult. It doesn't take a long time. You literally just sit on the cushion, put on the headphones, adjust the settings to a comfortable level, and then just lose yourself in the music. That's all. Our music is specifically designed. It has these Easter eggs in it. Um, it has these different sounds and frequencies that the mind begins to pick out and be distracted by. So as you're sitting there losing yourself in the music, what's happening is that we're entraining your brain into an alpha, theta, and sometimes delta brainwave state, even gamma. So, so we're uh, taking you to that meditative state. Yeah. yeah, let me just ask you this. So, uh, you deal with all kinds of uh, sound frequencies. I mean, you're talking about you know the sound bowls and the gongs and the music. Uh, does everybody react the same way to the same frequencies, or is that sort of an individual thing, and you have to figure out what works best for you? Both, right? So, so in general, yes, and we're all different, and we're all vibratory beings, and we all have our own frequencies and our own what's called a harmonic resonance. Um, and resonant frequency. So resonant frequency is our frequency at a resting state. Um, without getting too much into quite how important vibration is to this world, let's just say every single thing you can see with your eye is vibrating. <laughs> and this is difficult, but I'm sure your listeners can probably grasp this. Spe most The easiest aspect, forget about quantum physics and quantum science and all of that, which we're starting to really crack the code on, which is absolutely riveting and amazing science. Let's just take it back to seventh grade chemistry. Protons, neutrons, 
and atoms, right, at the atomic level. We know there's a periodic table right behind me. You can see it. I don't know if everybody else can, but that periodic table, those electrons on the outer ring is how we get these chemical bonds and, and how different elements connect with one another. So at the very least, the glass window, the silica that's in there, which is on the periodic table, is bonding with sand, right? And that's how we're, we're getting glass. Anyhow, um, so at an atomic level, this desk is vibrating. Even each and every one of you and the cells in our bodies, even though our skin appears to be solid, somewhat solid, we know that it's not. You can cut and slice it. You can open it. Uh, you could just scratch at it. And if your nails are strong enough, you'll break the skin. You know our skin, we're constantly shedding, right? So there are what appear to be a very physical world is actually vibrating. And, and simply appears to be solid as our perception through touch and sight and sound and you know that sort of thing. So vibration is everything. <laughs> and we all have a resonant frequency and that is our frequency when we're at rest. And we all come into as, harm, as vibrational beings, we come into what's called harmonic resonance with any frequency that we are presented with. And over the course of the day, we are presented with hundreds, if not thousands, or hundreds of thousands of frequencies every single day, from the electricity that's in our walls, to the 5G, to the Wi-Fi, to the other human beings, to the thoughts that we have, to you name it, we are constantly surrounded. Even the lights that are shining on me right now are presenting a frequency to my body, which my skin and my body and the pigment in my skin, right? I mean, there's there's endless amounts of depth that we can dive into this conversation, but everything around us is frequency. And our bodies are constantly coming into harmonic resonance with those frequencies. All we're doing with sound therapy and, and what we're doing vibroacoustic therapy is we are presenting the body with a very specific cadence of frequencies and sounds. And the mind, when it hears the same frequencies that it feels, is coming into harmonic resonance and bringing, being brought back into balance, if you will, with those positive frequencies. So... I don't believe there are any bad frequencies or negative frequencies. I said positive because it's this positive pattern of frequencies that we're being exposed to designed to bring the body into an alpha, theta, delta brainwave state, which is where we are during that meditative state. So we serve two main audiences. I already shared one. That's folks like me that can't meditate, that can't sit down and quiet their mind. You sit down on the meditation cushion, you push play, you lose yourself in the music, you dropped into that meditative state. The second, and I think this is as important, is somebody who's been meditating 20 minutes a day for 20 years has the practice down. Mm -hmm. And I just made a video on this. It's on our Instagram. Very difficult for me to tell you if you're meditating right or meditating wrong. In fact, I can't tell you if you're meditating right or meditating wrong. Now, I knew I wasn't doing it right. I knew I wasn't getting the benefits, but I knew. Somebody else wasn't telling me that because meditation happens between in, in between my ears, just like it happens in between your ears. I can't tell you if you're doing it right or wrong. You can know. Somebody who's been meditating for 20 minutes a day for 20 years, they get on my cushion and they lose their self in the music and they're taken deeper and further most of the time than they've ever been taken before and they are held there. So instead of meditating for a half hour, 40 minutes, they can meditate for five, 10 minutes. And they can get as much value because it takes them time to slow down to get into that meditative state. So that aspect of what we are doing, first of all, I was not expecting. And the text messages start flowing in three years ago. And we started this journey with the meditation cushion. And people are like, Craig, I've been meditating 20 minutes a day. And I cannot believe I wasn't going as deep as I thought I could go. And that really revealed itself as something is, hey, we got to start talking about mindfulness. We got to start talking specifically about meditation and its importance in the world because anybody can meditate and I can teach you. Here's the cool part. Most tech assisted meditation tactics and techniques you become reliant on um, in some way, shape or form. What we have found with our meditation cushion and our vibroacoustic therapy is that that's not the case. And instead, what you learn how to do on the meditation cushion, the In Harmony Sound Lounge and Practitioner, you take with you in a day-to-day -day life. So when you're driving down the street and all of a sudden there's construction or, or worse, if you're in California, that police officer comes and shuts down the highway in front of you and you're like, what's going on? And there's nothing you can do. You can't move. You can't go anywhere. He's just sitting there in the middle of the street. You don't know how long you're going to be there. It's pretty frustrating. Now you can take the tactics and techniques that you learned on our tech 
if you have the app on your phone, you might just throw in the headphones or play it on your car when you're not driving. And, and you're able to now drop into that meditative state in just the same way. And just allow yourself to relax, stay cool, calm, and collected in that stressful situation. And have that presence, that wherewithal, uh, to continue to push forward and, and really rock and roll. I tell you, Craig, that is wonderful. And, you know, the sound lounge and the meditation cushion are incredible incredible products but they do cost a little bit of money they do. Uh, what advice do you have for people who can't afford it yeah so look a few things first of all we all have our breath people ask all the time craig what can i do to start to reach those meditative states and start to explore it the first is is the knowledge and the awareness right now um that's first and foremost you feel yourself starting to drift into a sympathetic nervous system response. We all know what triggers us. We all know who triggers us. We all know what types of situations trigger us. If you're walking around in a triggered state day in, day out, day after day, month after month, year after year, you're creating that space for disease. You have adrenaline and cortisol flowing through your blood. Your That sympathetic nervous system response is turning off rational thinking. It's turning off your immune system. It's turning off digestion. It's turning off uh, reproductive organs. With chronic ailment issues with autoimmune, having trouble getting pregnant, having trouble with digestion, and it's all from stress and anxiety. Here in America, the top 10 reasons all cause mortality, why Americans die, six of them are rooted in stress and anxiety. So when you're stressed and anxious, if it's for a short period of time, a day a week, great. But if it's day after day from the moment you wake until the time that you until the moment you go to bed, you feel that to get back to this question. You feel that in your chest. Usually you're taking short breaths, not deep breaths. Usually you are, um, um, it's difficult for you to keep your focus because so much is probably stressing you out one thing after another, after another. So when you find yourself in this state, the easiest thing to do is to recognize it, close your eyes, take a deep breath. I like box breathing, especially as an introduction. Four to six counts in. Hold for four to six counts, whatever it is, hold that same amount, and then exhale for that same amount, and then hold empty for that same amount. Do that for one minute, and you will trigger the chemical cascades associated with the parasympathetic nervous system response. It's really wild. Simply, you control your breath, the breath controls the mind, the mind controls the body. The easiest way for you to get into that parasympathetic nervous system response. Now, it's a great start. And a lot of times that's a great place to begin, but oftentimes we need more. If you need more, I highly recommend downloading our app. You don't have to buy our tech, just simply download our app. It comes with a 14 day free trial. So you can try it before you get charged anything. $8 a month, $80 a year. We try and make it very approachable. We do have full-time musicians that are making music. We release new music every single week. We're constantly investing in the app and the content. So that's why we have that, that, that nominal charge for it. Um, start with the app. Listen to it through a Bluetooth speaker, listen to it through AirPods, listen to it through the, the tip of your phone, whatever it is, but begin to listen to those tracks to instill and do that box breathing while you're doing it. The simple upgrade from there is obviously to make an investment in the InHarmony meditation cushion, the practitioner or the sound lounge, only once you've realized you've got a grip for it and that this is something that you really like and you want more. Uh, you can go to our website, IamInHarmony.com. You can find a demo, find somebody in your community that has access to it so you can try it before you invest in it. That person will probably have a discount code for you. So there's some money to be saved there as well. And um, we do have payment plans, 0% interest, 36-month financing. I mean, we try and make it as approachable as possible. What I can tell you is that it's worth the investment. We get very, very, very few returns. And we have an amazing community that's incredibly supportive, including myself. Um, I'm readily available to work with you, talk with you, help you, and support you. Uh, on uh, on your journey to true and utter relaxation because shameless plug but when you lay on the sound lounge you push play and those frequencies and vibrations begin to hit i'm totally biased and i get that there's nothing like it nothing hey, like it Greg, can, you, can you repeat the website again i am in harmony Dot com i a m i n h a r m o n y dot com i am in harmony Dot com and we're on all the social networks too facebook linkedin twitter tiktok youtube you name it and i'm the human being on the other side of the comments all of them i'm the human being on the other side of the dms all of them 
I think it's really important in my role that we connect with our community. And even though we've got an amazing team that helps us to make the world go round and do what we do, I'm the one that's maintaining those communications and those relationships. So if you've got a question for me and it's specific to what you got going on, send us a DM and I'm, I'm happy to reply. Well, we've been speaking with relaxation expert, Craig Goldberg. Hope you've enjoyed today's program. If so, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future episodes. Until next time, this is Debbie Spector-Weissman saying, sweet dreams, everybody. Mm -hmm.